All right, I got all eight pistons out. One bolt was stripped, so I had to do some square shit to get it out. Let me grab a rag. Eh, I don't know. It's 10 under or what? <clears throat> See if I can find that label. It's on the ground area. There it is. Where is it? Let's see. I can. See that? With the play, makes me think it was 10 under. All the journals look pretty good besides this one here. And that one's got like a little ridgy, but I think that actually might be a little rust. Just a little rust on the journal. Number four was the one that was a pain in the dick. I had to have to grind and cut and beat with a chisel and everything. There's definitely some corrosion from sitting, but it looks fine other than the fact that the bearings are too loose. So, might have to go that route. <clears throat> I guess... I guess I have to find out if the crank is that way or not, or if it's just the rods. I don't know. All right, see. <clears throat> All right. After a lot more of a pain in the ass, it should have been. <clears throat> the crank is out of this engine, along with all the pistons. Pistons wasn't too easy. The fact that the engine didn't want to turn made it a lot harder than it should have been. This crank is going to come out. That is a bone stock factory crank. I'm going to put it in here. And surprisingly, those bearings look a whole lot worse than these bearings. So I marked and labeled all the rod bearings and main bearings so they'll go exactly back on the same journals but with different rods and shit. And I checked a few of them. The mains are the same thickness but the rod bearings are different. Blah, blah, blah. That crank, that engine. Well, that crank, that engine those heads those rockers <clears throat> with those pistons which are all labeled because all them pistons came out of that engine and every one of them is labeled Which, yes, I should have stamped them, but that's fine. Still got to take the mains all out of this, the rear seal, the front, all the front end back apart. Not a big deal, but <clears throat> still got to do it. All right, see you in a sec. All right. This is the crank out of the orange engine. And hell oh, damn it. Here I'll just do it this way. DNS. Something or another. It almost was a little heller. <clears throat> so 
So, there that thing is. Other than pulling that gear off the back and putting it on this one, just because there's a uh, right here, a little bit of a rubbed area where it had been stuck and slid around and all that shit. Changing that from that one on that one. Lens might be dirty again. Maybe not. And I labeled the fucking bearings any damn way. The other ones, just in case my buddy's wanting to use them. I wouldn't. Because. Yeah, yeah. You know. I don't know if you can hear that. Versus, ow, these, yeah, maybe a blown up engine, but it's got better parts, so I'm going to use them, <sighs> of course, you know, take the best parts you got, build a freaking engine, I need to actually go through all this shit, determine what I'm using, what I ain't using, and everything else put in buckets. Those are good heads. Don't do me no good. That crank would be a good crank if I wanted to get the right bearings for it and all that. This crank really ain't damaged. Grab my rag. Yeah. yeah that's dirty. I'm using a dirty rag to clean it, but. You know. Leaving little streaks because of the rag. But not bad. The crank's not bad. I just I'm cheap. Do do do. Alright, catch you in a bit.